Hello guys, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So in last video, I have shown you how to design a nanomaterial from the scratch, right? So uh, today I'll be teaching you how to do a you know basic calculation in Metal Studio. So what we'll do, we will take the smallest uh, unit so that it will be fast, so we can perform. Yeah, uh, I'll be taking this. Okay, this unit cell for calculation. First, I will make a folder, separate folder. I'll give some name. And there I will drag this structure in. This is the input geometry for my calculation. Okay. First, before uh, like submitting calculation, make sure that bound lines are proper. Okay. Everything is proper. Symmetry is proper. I will check the symmetry. Everything is fine. Based on the our chemical intuition, the symmetry, bond length, everything should be correct. Okay. Now everything is fine. So we need to submit the calculation. So just you can see when uh, this cast step tool over here. Click there, go to the calculation. In the calculation section, we will be doing the geometry optimization, right? So, so here you have so many varieties of calculation. Energy, energy is the single point energy. Whenever you are submitting the energy means, and Gaussian also have shown you the single point calculation. Similarly, when you are submitting energy, just energy, it won't do geometry optimization, just single point energy calculation will be there. Then again, you have geometry optimization. You see the dynamics. Dynamics is used for uh, you suppose you want to check the thermodynamic stability of material so we'll be performing a dynamic calculation uh, where we'll be giving a certain temperature or whatever temperature you wish you can change there okay then the, these are different different calculations okay depending on your purpose use we choose so right now we'll be going for uh, geometry optimization okay and the person who are interested for the thermodynamic stability of material can choose dynamics and there they'll be asked to choose the uh, temperature so you can put the temperature whatever you want and you can go ahead in geometry optimization you just click and these are different different levels of calculation and the express quality or like whatever is you can choose anything okay if you want the details of what is the meaning of express course medium and all simply uh, you go to the help menu okay one menu will be shown here and see where you can see the meaning of each and everything uh, express course medium see you can see the details about this okay you can get the details and you know based on your see generally ultra fine is used for uh, very high accuracy so depending on your purpose you can choose the different uh, medium fine any doubt okay so uh, right now i'll just i'm taking ultra fine for the good accuracy and these are the different different functionals lda that is the local density approximation then you have the gradient a generalized gradient approximation and then you have other functions also hf hf uh, hf lda sx sx lda P, pb zero then you have the hsc zero sex which is the latest and which is very costly in the time like in the term of time and the uh, memory of your system and these are uh, so this functional you can select whatever you wish then this section is used for the dft d correction which is the dispersion correction of the material if this person correction of material is required you can go this so if you want like when this person correction is required so whenever there is a vendor bar interaction in your material you can go for this dispersion correction if there is no you can skip polarized spin polarization so whenever there is a soc spin orbit coupling in that case you have to choose this spin polarization then spin uh, this spin orbit coupling will be in like on and you have to select accordingly if you want the detail of these all this menu when it is required you can go to the help menu directly and there you will be getting all those details okay so don't worry in the beginning just for a beginner how to submit a calculation i'll tell you these things you select go to the more menu there you just click on the optimize cell don't change anything from here what is the options don't change anything we will be using the bf gs algorithm okay if you want to change the stress in a specific direction you can change this from here but for a beginner there is nothing to be changed and now go to the electronics and now here uh, everything you can use as it is and these uh, these are the pseudo potential okay so in the material this cast step we use pseudo potential instead of atomic basis set what is the pseudo potential you can go and search uh, like more about the pseudo potential i'll give you the brief pseudo potential is just like all of the you know the except the valence electron all of the uh, electrons will be assumed as the you know core electrons so they assume they make a pseudo potential out of that 
So generally pseudo potential is like best fitting for the nano seeds, nano materials and the 3D materials. So we use prefer pseudo potential over this atomist basis. Okay. And you can go for the more detail if you are interested in. And there are different different types of pseudo potential. Okay. So you can choose whatever you wish. I will be going with ultra soft. And if you want like uh, whatever potential what are the use of that you can go to the help menu and you can get the details of that what you have to use okay i will be using ultra soft don't change anything from here go to the more menu okay here this is the cutoff energy generally in the methodology section of the, any paper you might have seen uh, 520 electron volt 400 electron volt so you can click here and you can manually put that value over here okay now go to the uh, right now i'm not changing it taking default go to the scf don't change anything from here so this is the scf tolerance in some of the methodology of the papers you might have seen the scf tolerance is this so this is 5 into 10 to power minus 7 ev per atom okay then these are the k points these are see there are two ways to give the k points one is the based on the separation okay and based on the k points grid suppose uh, 10 into 10 lattice 5 into 5 lattice you remember so like that in this case uh, if you are you want to give the mp grid then you have to click on the custom grid parameters there you can select 20 into 20 lattice fine or whatever you want to give you can give but generally we uh, like i personally prefer giving the separation between the k points and the best is when you are going downside like point not to one will be the best and if it is more than that is okay and for a result like uh, you if you want to publish a result this is also okay 0.04 is also okay but if you want to accurate result uh, you, you have to decrease the value okay but same time it will be wasting the time also okay so no, no need to change anything from here okay now go to the properties menu the properties menu whatever properties you want to calculate you can click it from here suppose i want to belt, uh, calculate the band structure just calculate on the band structure uh, go to the more and they are on a path so from here you have to select the path of the uh, that is the below is on okay if you don't know how to select the path uh, i will here i will give you the brief information okay see right now whatever the lattice we have that is a two dimensional lattice right so the path also has to be in the two dimension right here you can see the path there is a path which is in the two dimension two dimension what are the paths g that is the k point then you have m then you have x right and this z b and a are in the third dimension like right so third dimension we don't have any lattice here so the any k point with z b and a will be ignoring okay so how many special k point we have we have three special k points g x and m so generally i'll be starting with gamma then gamma to m we have so i'll be clicking gamma to m then m to x so i'll select m to x then x to g so we'll select x to g other we will delete now you see nicely we have selected the k point mass that is the first below a or the below zone reciprocal that is of this unit cell fine so this we have already selected now. so from here you can see that this is the uh, coordinates of the k point special k point third dimension is zero right and in all other cases just assume other i will take one example i'll insert one more okay so see if in other cases z a and r that i have shown you here right z a and this r in those cases uh, there is a third dimension right so in those cases you have seen z third dimension is there a third dimension r third dimension that's why we have deleted that okay so now we have this k point mass which is in two dimension all over the points are in two dimension once you have selected this we can off this and display the reciprocal lattice that was the reciprocal lattice that we have already selected now now go to the density of state if you want to calculate and if you want to go for the projected density of state you just click here everything else will be same if you want to calculate anything else you can select it suppose if you want to calculate some optical properties anything just select it okay after that you go to the job control here you select the number of uh, suppose in my system i have 12 cores so i can use all of the cores one more thing to remember if if you are using your system for other thing also if you are giving all cores 
so what will happen your system will be always busy with the calculation okay so generally what i prefer is i will be giving 10 course if i want to use this system for other purpose also otherwise the system will hang okay now click on this op uh, optimized number of course on fly here you choose the default go to the more and tick everything okay that's all now simply run click on run what will happen the calculation will be starting here okay and down you can see this starting and this is the job id and this is the starting time okay once you have submitted the calculation you can go and check the uh, in the task manager you can go and check it see once you have submitted the calculation uh, that cast up calculation will start here okay this is the metal studio and this is taking see how much 8.74 mb this is the memory is taken by this Gaussian calculation sorry this uh, metal studio calculation fine once calculation is over this will say uh, like it will give you one uh, pop-up that calculation is over okay so like that you have to submit a calculation okay once you get the uh, like uh, output and also you have to do the analysis portion of a calculation done thank you